Okay, let's get started. Um, DPC operates three ports. They operate the Port of Bundaberg, the Port of Rockhampton and the Port of Gladstone, which is the largest. Our ports are diverse and we hosted um, 1,911, 1,911 vessels. That was in the 2017, 18 years and that number is growing each year. It's not just about the vessels. It's each port either exports or imports cargo and these cargoes can import, can assist these hitchhiker pests as a gateway into Australia. Um, GPC is also a landholder, so our biosecurity extends beyond the port and the birds. So, lovely little picture we've got there. So, there's multiple aspects to operating an international shipping port, and today I'll, I'm going to touch on each one of those that is pictured. And to give a little bit of context, um, this is a little bit of information about the port, um, Port of Gladstone, and what is in, what happens in each one of those berths, the Port of Bundaberg and the Port of Rockhampton. And lovely there, seeing some vessels at berth. Okay, get started on the journey of vessels coming in is marine pests. We're one of four ports who are part of the Department of Agriculture funded program looking at molecular surveillance. Recently we hosted um, the... Um, staff marine pest exercise based on marine pest scenario in the Port of Gladstone and in the next few months we'll be kicking off a pilot surveillance program in the Port of Gladstone and those programs are happening in other ports up, down, up and down the coast. Next one, ballast water and biofouling. You know, we're all the time trying to keep abreast of the legislative changes and that's one of our focuses. It's acknowledged that the biosecurity space is changing and GPC have been active in providing submissions on ballast water and biofouling. We aim to keep our port users compliant by including these obligations in our um, contractors and port users standards so that everybody knows what the expectations will be. First port of entry, it's one of our biggest accomplishments over the past year has been achieving our first point of entry determinations for our three ports. Each port has multiple berths. Each berth can have one or more products and product types determine what controls are required to ensure adequate biosecurity. Biosecurity improvements were also made to incident response, risk awareness, which is mandatory training for people who are on the berth so that they can detect anything suspicious and report it, and environmental management around our birth. Touched on this one yesterday, this is fire ants. It was our biggest emergency when imported red fire ants were um, discovered at one of our wharf areas. That's in the Fisherman's Landing precinct back in 2013. This area has multiple berths, multiple cargo types and multiple tenants. Everyone impacted, operated under a Biosecurity Queensland approved risk management plan and compliance with these plans were a priority. We achieved the resolution notice in 2016 after being two years of fire ant free. GPC, one of the key things they did was facilitate um, that timely communications with Biosecurity Queensland and tenant, tenants. And um, I told the fellow that was, that is the, uh, um, and kudos goes to our site logistics coordinator, Mike Dixon, who lived and breathed fire ants with Biosecurity Queensland during that time. Um, making sure we unlo unloaded goods and general waste retrieved off vessels is clean, um, is the responsibility of ports and port users. We operate approved arrangement to sterilise, that's the galley waste, you know, what the ship's crew eat and, you know, bits of their packaging. Um, for Gladstone and Rockhampton and in Bundaberg, we engage contractors with approved arrangements to handle and treat waste. And GPC is actively working with the Department of Agriculture on container management at Port Alma. Established pests. Um, our land, uh, for our land that's situated behind the berths and in the general community, we undertake surveillance and control programs. Our top weed is rubber vine, which seems to survive and sometimes even thrive in the salty intertidal environments. Our top pest um, animal is the wild dogs. On an island where we're um, trustees, these wild dogs sort of scare visitors and people on the island and have a habit of digging up turtle nests. 
By Security Queensland do provide us notices on surveillance and control programs relevant to our area, and we do evaluate the presence of the risk of presence of these species, and we facilitate access for Biosecurity Queensland and local councils if they want to come on come on to our land. To keep biosecurity in the, on the front foot, we have an environmental communication strategy where we use internal flyers to get the message out to workers. Um, we're also starting to get out there in the social media space and using Facebook posts to engage the community on environmental aspects, including biosecurity. These are our biosecurity accomplishments to date. There is a large focus on biosecurity at a state and federal level. It's hard to keep up, especially how all these pieces fit together. It is taking multiple staff members from GPC's environment team to keep abreast of it all. And um, that's our journey. Thanks very much. <laughs>